Time for lunch, and this is what you see. Students racing for a quick snack or a cool drink. Vending machines are sort of a daily ritual for students at Shaw High School. And some don't know what they do without them. Most children, lunch is a vending machine, like me. I buy my lunch from the vending machine. If they take that out, I won't eat lunch. Yeah, I think it's good to have. I mean, you need a snack once in a while. I mean, it's kind of hard to go all day without eating everything. But where are the building blocks of nutrition that is coming out of the vending machine? This morning, about a dozen concerned citizens appeared before the Mobile County School Board. Danny Goodwin believes vending machines cause more trouble than they're worth. When the vending machines are so readily available on campuses, it causes the children to supplant their nutritional meal instead of supplementing. One of the big complaints parents and teachers have is what's in the vending machine. Potato chips, candy bars, and cookies. Some say if you're going to keep the vending machines on campus, you might as well put something healthy in them. You may be surprised some students would actually prefer a healthier selection of quick food items. It's just they're a little hard to find. I think it'd be a good idea to get more health food, uh, more fruit juices, and maybe some trail mix or something like that. You know, it would be a change of pace from the stuff in the cafeteria. School board member Dr. Joseph Mitchell says one way to get healthier snacks to schools is to let different vending companies bring different goods on campus. For that to happen, the board needs to adopt a new vending policy, which is under consideration. The board is expected to vote on the plan by the end of this month. In Mobile, Jason Barry, Action News 10.